food, shelter and clothing are the basic needs of all of us. Due to continuous increase in human population, the demand for food is also increasing. To meet the increasing demand of food, we need to increase the crop yield. Since the land available for crop production cannot be increased beyond a limit, we must try to increase the soil fertility to meet the increasing demand of food. One of the methods of doing so is by adding fertilizers such as urea, ammonium nitrate, potassium phosphate, etc. to the soil. Ammonium nitrate is an important fertilizer which is used to replenish nitrogen in the soil. It is prepared by the reaction of ammonia with nitric acid, hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid and nitric acid are inorganic acids having similar chemical properties. Chemical properties of acids include their reaction with water, metals, metal carbonates and hydrogen carbonates, metal oxides and bases. Let's know about them in detail one by one. Acids on reaction with water form H plus or hydronium ions. Due to the formation of these ions, aqueous solutions of acids exhibit two distinctive properties that is they turn blue litmus red and they conduct electricity remember acids do not dissociate in gaseous state that is the reason when a dry blue litmus paper is dipped in a jar filled with dry hcl gas the color of blue litmus paper does not change but when a moist blue litmus paper is dipped in the same jar the color of the blue litmus paper changes to red because now it will furnish H plus ions. Let us take some compounds having hydrogen in them such as hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid, glucose and ethanol and find whether they conduct electricity or not. See, hydrochloric acid and sulfuric acid dissociate completely in water to produce H plus or hydronium ions and thus conduct electricity while glucose and ethanol does not conduct electricity as they do not dissociate completely in water. So we can say it is not necessary that all the compounds containing hydrogen are good conductors of electricity. Now we will find what happens when metals react with acids. Salt and hydrogen gas are formed by the reaction of acids with metals. But how can one be so sure that the gas evolved in the reaction is hydrogen? Hydrogen is a colorless gas and its presence can be confirmed with the help of a burning candle. Let's go to the laboratory and see how it can be done. Take some zinc granules in a test tube and add some dilute sulfuric acid to it. Notice the evolution of gas bubbles on the surface of the zinc granules. Pass this gas through the soap solution. Bubbles of gas can be seen in the soap solution. When a burning candle is brought near to the evolved gas, a pop sound is heard which indicates the presence of hydrogen gas. Similarly, hydrochloric acid, nitric acid and acetic acid also react with zinc to form the corresponding zinc salt and hydrogen gas. Apart from water and metals, acids also react with metal carbonates and hydrogen carbonates. A salt, carbon dioxide and water are formed by the reaction of acids with metal carbonates and hydrogen carbonates. Now we will go to the laboratory and perform an activity to know more about it. Take small amount of sodium carbonate in a test tube and add small amount of dilute hydrochloric acid to it. Observe the bubbles of a colorless and odorless gas. When these bubbles of gas are passed in test tube containing lime water, it turns milky due to formation of calcium carbonate. It indicates that the gas evolved in the reaction is carbon dioxide. When excess of carbon dioxide is passed in lime water, calcium hydrogen carbonate is formed which is soluble in water and therefore the milkiness disappears. When hydrochloric acid reacts with sodium hydrogen carbonate, the evolution of same gas that is carbon dioxide is observed. 
acids react with metal oxides also. The products of this reaction are salt and water. Let's perform an activity to understand how it can be done. Take small amount of copper oxide in a beaker. Now add hydrochloric acid to it with continuous stirring. Did you notice any change? Yes, the color of the solution has changed to blue-green indicating the formation of copper 2 chloride. Another class of compounds with which acids react as bases. Salt and water are the products of this reaction. This reaction is called neutralization reaction. Reaction of phosphoric acid and sodium hydroxide to form sodium phosphate and water is an example of neutralization reaction. It would be interesting to note that metallic oxides can also be referred as basic oxides because they give the same products that is salt and water on reaction with acids.